Once upon a time, there lived a woman who loved flowers. One day, her most special flower bloomed. Inside was a very tiny little girl. Oh, how cute! She must be a gift from God. The woman named the little girl Thumbelina and decided to raise her as her own. Thumbelina was loved and well taken care of. She had a happy life. Then, one summer night, What a cute little girl! She'll be a perfect bride for my son. Thumbelina was kidnapped by a toad. Crokey, I've brought you your bride. Credit, 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 credit. At the thought of marrying a toad, Thumbelina was so scared and lonely that all she could do was weep. Then some fish took pity on her and set her free. Saved by the fish, Thumbelina floated downstream. <laughs> Great Queen, I have brought a strange worker bee. What's this? A thick waist, no wings? She doesn't even have a stinger. Your Majesty, I am neither hornet, nor wasp, nor bee. I'm a girl. Hearing this... Well, off with you to your own home, then. Wasting my time like that when I'm so busy, honestly. For tiny Thumbelina, even just walking over a grassy field is a big challenge. Thumbelina walked and walked until she could go no further. What are you doing here? It gets cold at night, you'll get sick. You can warm up here, get some rest and you'll feel better. Thumbelina was rescued by a field mouse. By the time Thumbelina regained her health, autumn had come. So she decided to stay at Mrs. Field Mouse's house until spring. You poor thing! You're sick! Thumbelina nursed the swallow back to health. You must get well before the snow falls. That night, Mr. Mole, who lived nearby, came to Mrs. Fieldmouse's house for a visit. Why, hello there. Welcome, Mr. Mole. Mr. Mole is the richest fellow around here in the whole neighborhood. My, how beautiful. Oh. What on earth is wrong, Mr. Mole? Uh, nothing. Uh, see you later. Oh. Digging holes everywhere. The next day, the swallow was feeling a bit better. Thank you, Thumbelina. All my friends are migrating. Where will you go, Mr. Swallow? 
So the swallow told Thumbelina of faraway lands. When she got back home... Oh, look at these presents from Mr. Mole. I got a worm. We've been invited to his house tomorrow. What? The swallow was ready to migrate south. Thanks to you, I'm all better. Why don't you come south with me? But the field mouse had been kind to her, so Thumbelina couldn't leave her all alone. I'll see you again next spring. We're almost at Mr. Mole's. It's so damp and creepy. So what does that matter? He's rich. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Oh, what a great place you have here. Make yourselves at home. Uh-huh. Do you mean it? Thumbelina, he's asked you to marry him. I'm all for it, Mr. Mole. Just think I'll have a rich relative. <laughs> as soon as he saw her, the mole fell in love with Thumbelina. On the way home... What? Since when don't you like Mr. Mole? If I marry the mole, I'll have to spend all my time underground. I can't say goodbye to the bright, warm sunshine. Don't be picky. When spring comes, you will marry. It's all decided. It was a cold winter. Mrs. Fieldmouse was busy preparing for the wedding. I want spring to come soon, but... As Thumbelina fretted, spring arrived. Tomorrow was the wedding day. As Thumbelina wept, I have returned. Mr. Swallow, please, please take me away. The swallow took Thumbelina on its back and flew high into the sky. The swallow flew to the land of the flowers. Where could that girl have gone? Gone. Lovely. This flower garden is just like I imagined. This is the place for you. Thank you, Mr. Swallow. My respects to Mrs. Fieldmouse. The flower garden was filled with people just like Thumbelina. After that, her days were happy. Then one day, Thumbelina met a handsome flower prince. The first time he saw her, the prince fell in love and proposed to her. The celebrated couple had a gorgeous wedding. Thumbelina lived happily